Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can do basic math by using actions and scripts. Also, we will take a look at how we can use formatting to assign a control a specific color based off the value entered into that control. Let's say we want to create a safety checklist and calculate an average score of the values from our checklist. Then have that safety average turn green for a passing value or red for a failing value. For this, we will want to use the number box control to ensure only numeric values are entered. Also, we can set the min and max values allowed to be entered. Let's call this first control safety one, then assign it a binding. When we create new bindings for the number box controls, we have the option to allow only full numbers or have numbers with decimals. For our checklist, we will use full numbers. The next thing we will need to do is update our control name. I like to put the binding name in front of the existing name, then remove these numbers at the end. This keeps everything standardized for the control. Now we need to select the actual number box control and do the same, adding the binding name in front of the existing name. We actually didn't need to do it for the label control as the number box will be the part of the control we want to change color, but it's good practice. Now we will need to do the same for the other two controls. We have our three safety checklist controls set up. So let's set the min value to zero and the max to 10 on all three. This ensures whoever is filling out the form can only enter values between zero and 10. Now we need to add one more number box for our safety average. We'll keep it simple and name it safety average, then create a new binding with the same name. This time we will want to use decimal as the average may not average out to a whole number. Let's rename our control and set our min and max to zero and 10 again. We have our controls all set up. Now we can create our script by selecting the wrench button up top here. Let's name the script safety average and hit the green check mark. For this action, we don't require any triggers or conditions. We just need the average to be calculated. Under type, we have the option for math. Now we need to identify the target, which will be the safety average number box. This is where clearly naming your bindings and controls makes finding the correct target a lot easier. Next, we'll select the advanced button and it will pop up our equation builder window. As you can see, we have an average option. Let's select that and select the three controls we want averaged. You probably noticed that we are getting a warning message here. That's because a comma is required between each control. Once we add those commas to our equation, it will let us know the equation is valid. Now we can hit save then select save and close. We have the script for the average safety score created and can now test it out to make sure it works the way we need. We can use the arrows to populate the number or we can just type it in. So now when we enter 11, we get a warning notification telling us the value exceeds the max value. Let's drop it down to nine and you'll notice that the average is calculating on our bottom control. And now we have a final average of 6.3. We want a visual indicator to show green when it passes or red when we have a value of eight or lower. Let's create a script to show this. This first script we will call pass green. For this script, we'll require a condition. When the safety average is greater than the value of eight, then we want the action to format the control to turn green. We will need to change our target to the safety average number box, then update the action back to highlight, and it has already been set to green from when we first set it. We can select save and close, then create the next script for fail. Let's name this script fail red. Again, we will need a condition so when the safety average is equal to or less than 
the value of 8, then we want to format the control to target the safety average number box. And then the action to highlight red. We can select save and close, then test it out. Right away we can already see the control is red because it has a value of zero. Now if we add a value of nine to the first box, it changes it to green. And if we add an eight to the next box after that, it continues to be green because the average is over eight. But now if I put a seven in the last box, it turns it red because the value is now eight. For a pass, we need any value over eight. So let's change this last box to eight and it will update the average to 8.3, which gives us a pass. This wraps up the basic math and formatting with scripts. Thank you for watching.